project in here, but I just wanted to show you. This is the men's side. And it, it holds about a, a 80, 85 um, guys. And um, it's pretty filled most all the time. And what about the carpet on this side? Oh, it'll eventually go. Carpet just isn't a good thing. Um, um, I don't know. It could be taken out. It fills that, that whole area there. But I, I don't think that's high priority. Okay. The uh, resealing the parking lots is more important, I think, at this point than picking up the parking lot. This building is from 1972, so it's had a lot of use, and it's fairly old. It's been used for a lot of different things. You're fairly old. It's had a lot of use. It's a lot short. Um, yeah, we like that because we think in the summertime, or when we need to do mass cleaning, we'll be able to take the beds out that way. It's, a, it's an insulated garage oh, okay. door, so. We're, we have decided to leave that for the time being to see if it, it wouldn't be useful okay. for us. Otherwise, you have to take the beds apart. That's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I just noticed, I'm not sure, I yeah. didn't really look into that restroom right there. Yes. So there seems to be a hole down in the bottom. Does that need to be patched in this restroom? I thought there was, maybe, in the wall. Did I just not see that right? Oh, a hole in the wall. Um, so keep an eye on people. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 you put it there? It's okay. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm bringing it up. Know. It's probably from the door, <laughs> Is maybe. Is that right? Yeah, it looks oh. like a hole got kicked in the bottom or, or something like that. Yeah. But, yeah, so any kind of those immediate maintenance needs, no, so that, that would be something to consider. These are going to be reconfigured in the future, so I wouldn't look at doing a total bathroom remodel or anything yeah. in there. But if it's a patching a hole or yeah. you know, keep some privacy in the bathrooms, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, yeah that, is, that would work. Building originally designed. $1.2 This, uh, when I first walked in here, was housing a glass and mirror shop, and also uh, there was some business in front. It was a hot air balloon business, and so it's it's kind of a commercial, it was kind of commercial flex space. It could have been. It was separated for three businesses, I think, the first time I stepped in here. Somebody told me that uh, in the 70s there was a shoe store in one part of it. 27th came right right through before the. The connector. What else do we have, Bill? Oh, the, the, the um, what about those? <coughs> One thing we're starting to investigate is um, there's a need to have a covered area on, ex on the exterior of the building. There's, there's several needs out there that, that uh, for covered areas. One is when people, when they're open the door at a certain time, people start lining, are lining up outside and sometimes the weather's inclement just to keep some rain out there. We're talking about a possibility of adding, for instance, like awning structure out there. That that type of thing. We've got to be careful and it's gonna take some work with the building department to see what we can and can't do on the on this building. Um, so we're hoping maybe to be able to do something like that without adding fire sprinkler under it in a, in a, in a dry system or a you know or a glycol system. So all those things we're trying to keep it turning into major work, but it'd be nice to find some way to get some kind of an awning structure to, to give them something to protect them on the weather lining up to come in the building. Um, and we also had talked about some painting on the exterior of the building. So we think those couple of steps could really have an immediate visual impact on this and really show uh, that, you, that your work is really having a, a quick impact and really brought the place up. Not only for the people here, but people driving by looking at the perception of what's happening here. We want to uh, make it look like uh, inviting and clean and kept play. Hey Bill, for two, for the overhangs, we talked about two areas, right? Yeah. Essentially the intake area yeah. and, the, and the hangout area. Like yeah. That. Size on that for code purposes? What's, what uh, I've got to work out, they, we have a liaison with the city, uh, Bob Archibald, uh, and I need to spend some time with him. I uh, wanted to have this meeting first to see if even that would be a project that you would be thinking about considering taking on. If it's something that would, is a potential, I'll go take that step and meet with Bob and see what we can accomplish, what, what type of construction they'd allow. Or, and then there's another another exterior uh, item. That they're one that will cover it because they do have a lot of smokers and they want to send them to a designated area and, that, and they'd like to have a covered area outside. Now I'm sure we would only be in a temporary structure kind of situation out there. 
Yeah. We wouldn't call it a smoking shelter. We wouldn't call it that. That's essentially what's going to happen. So it's a sitting area. Two covered area. areas, a sitting area and the intake area. What about, uh, uh, Ed and I have talked about some of the other things out here. Um, seating, um, get some, talked about maybe getting some chairs donated. Chairs. To be yeah. outside would be one. Obviously ones that can stand weather. Sturdy um, chairs. Bike rack, would that be something? We've got a couple bike racks, we're okay. You're okay though? Yeah. What about the shed back here? Do they need to do that, that you guys store stuff? Oh, we need shed. shelving in in uh, at least two of those shel uh, sheds. Those are storage sheds. And it would be built-in shelving, probably two by twos or two by fours, plywood surfaces along two or three of the walls. Those sh those uh, storage sheds have garage door fronts, and then um, the three other walls could be uh with the shelf. What do you use that for? <coughs> um, Besides storage. What kind of storage? That's all. Well, um, storage of, of storage. blankets. Yep. Stuff in here. Stuff that's donated. Um, resident overflow storage. Um, sometimes they'll have a garbage bag extra, so we put it out there with their name on it. We have lot, lots of need for that storage area. Any, uh, I didn't seem to notice any problems. Any work needs to be done on fencing? Any of the fencing around here or? Um, I don't think so. I think we're good. I, good fence. I, I'll throw out another idea. I heard somebody ask about landscaping before and talked about it there. Uh, in order to get HUD funding for this building, we had to pass all the environmental standards for HUD. The big problem we had, a huge hoop we had to get through was the noise level out back because of the connector. And if anybody was considering landscape projects, it would be maybe nice to consider some individual planting, uh, tree planting areas, maybe get some trees up above, some, some foliage up above the mm. wall level that's out there to help maybe knock down some of that noise along there and actually make a much better visual impact as people come mm. along the connector. Uh, so with a few, I think with the right species and, the, and a few planter boxes out there, it might really improve that back area too. So it would have to be planter boxes? Well, I. I it doesn't necessarily have to be. That's just my thought. How much of the property? Where's the property line in? Does it go all the way up to the wall that the connector's on? No. no. This drive what you see here? as far as the perimeter wall here, uh -huh. this is a zero setback on the side. So, um, so this was contained within the walls back there. Both these, this wall and the one on the far side of the family, those are the limits of the property. There's a little bit out in front, about 45 feet off the face of the building to the property line out. So out front, be, trees would be inside this wall. Yeah. Or even you know something along the wall. Or Escaping 